my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bachelor of computer applications second semester subject computer architecture as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 2 the important short question is what is arithmetic unit the arithmetic unit is a part of the cpu that does all the math work in a computer it is like the calculator inside the computer it performs basic arithmetic operations like addition plus subtraction multiplication times division divided by it is a part of a bigger unit called the alu arithmetic and logic unit example imagine you are using a calculator on your mobile to add 25 plus 75 the calculator app sends this to the cpu inside the cpu the arithmetic unit adds the numbers and gives the answer 100 so any time you do math like counting money calculating marks or playing games the arithmetic unit helps the computer solve the numbers easy tip to remember a in arithmetic is equal to add so it helps do maths next important short question is to what is integer division integer division means dividing one whole number by another and keeping only the whole number part of the answer no decimals no fractions in computer architecture when the cpu performs integer division it removes the decimal part and gives only the integer whole number result example if you divide 10 divided by 3 the actual answer is 3.33 but in integer division the computer gives only 3 the whole number it's like if you have 10 chocolate and want to give them to three friends each friend will get three chocolate and one chocolate will be left called the remainder so in integer division quotient is equal to 3 remainder is equal to 1 easy tip to remember integer is equal to whole number so integer division is equal to whole number answer only used in games counters and loops where we don't need decimal values next important short question is 3 what are floating point numbers floating point numbers are numbers that have decimal points computers use them to represent real numbers like 3.14 0.75 or minus 2.5 in computer architecture these numbers are stored in a special way so that even very big or very small decimal numbers can be handled easily example if you divide 10 divided by 4 the answer is 2.5 This 2.5 is a floating point number because it has a decimal. Why the name floating point? The decimal point floats, it can move left or right depending on the number's size. Like scientific notation, 1.23 times 10. Easy tip to remember. Floating is equal to decimal can move. Used in scientific calculations. banking apps games to show scores speed etc so whenever you see decimals in a computer thank the floating point unit fpu for handling them next important short question is four operations of arithmetic unit the arithmetic unit is the part of the cpu that performs mathematical operations it is like a fast math machine inside the computer main operations it performs one addition plus adds to numbers two subtraction subtracts one number from another three multiplication times multiplies numbers four division divided by divides one number by another five increment adds one to a number 
6. Decrement subtracts 1 from a number. Example. If you do 5 plus 3 on your phone calculator, the arithmetic unit inside the CPU gives the answer 8. Easy tip to remember. These operations are just like what we do in maths class, the arithmetic unit just does them much faster. It is used in calculators, billing software, games, any app that needs math. So, the arithmetic unit helps the computer think in numbers. Next unit 2. Long questions. First important long question is addition and subtraction of signed numbers. In computer architecture, numbers can be signed or unsigned. Unsigned numbers are always positive, like 5, 10, 100. Signed numbers can be positive or negative, like minus 5, plus 10, minus 100. To handle negative numbers, computers use a method called two's complement. It helps the CPU do both addition and subtraction easily using binary. How signed numbers work in binary? In an 8-bit system, plus 5 is equal to 00000101. This is two's complement of 00000101. Addition of signed numbers. Example 1. Plus 5 plus minus 3. Step 1. Now add them. Answer is plus 2. So, 5 plus minus 3 is equal to 2. Subtraction of signed numbers. In computers, subtraction is done by adding the negative number. Example 2. 5 minus 3 equals 5 plus minus 3. Now add. The oh, answer is plus 2. Same result. So subtraction becomes addition in computer logic. Easy tip to remember. To subtract, just add the negative. Use 2's complement for negative numbers. Computer handles everything in binary behind the scenes. Why it matters? Signed number addition subtraction is used in calculations in programs. Temperature readings, example, minus 10 degrees Celsius. Banking apps, example, minus 500 rupees is equal to money deducted. Memory trick. Think of plus is equal to normal, is equal to flip and add one, two's complement. Next important long question is to explain about design of fast adders. Design of fast adders. In computers, adders are circuits used to add binary numbers. A fast adder is designed to give the result quickly, which helps speed up the entire computer. Why fast adders are needed? When a computer adds large binary numbers, like in banking, games, or scientific apps, a normal adder, like ripple carry adder, takes more time because each bit waits for the carry from the previous bit. So, to make the CPU faster, we need fast adders. Types of fast adders. 1. Carry Look Ahead Adder, CLA. It looks ahead and predicts the carry instead of waiting for it. This makes it much faster than normal adders. 2. Carry Skip Adder It skips unnecessary carry steps if not needed. Faster than Ripple, but simpler than CLA. 3. Carry Select Adder It calculates two results at once, one assuming carry is 0, and one assuming carry is 1. Then selects the correct one. This saves time. Example. Let's say we want to add 10 11 11 in decimal plus 11 0 1 13 in decimal. In a ripple adder, each bit waits for the carry from the previous one, so it's slow. In a carry look ahead adder, it predicts the carry and gives the answer much faster, saving time. Easy tip to remember. 
Ripple carry is equal to slow but simple. Carry look ahead is equal to fast and smart. Where fast adders are used. High speed processors like in mobiles and laptops. Real time systems like traffic control games. Scientific and financial apps where speed matters. Memory trick. CLA is equal to carry looks ahead saves time. Next important long question is 3. Multiplication of positive numbers In computer architecture, multiplication of numbers is done using binary numbers. Just like we multiply in decimal, example, 3 times to equals 6, computers multiply using zeros and ones. When both numbers are positive, the process is simpler because there are no signs to worry about. How it works? Binary multiplication follows simple rules. 0 times 0 equals 0. 0 times 1 equals 0. 1 times 0 equals 0. 1 times 1 equals 1. Multiplication in binary is like the long multiplication we do in school. Example. Multiply 3 times 2. Step 1. Convert to binary. 3 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1. 2 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0. Now multiply. Is equal to 6 in decimal. So, 3 times 2 equals 6 even in binary. Easy tip to remember. Binary multiplication is equal to same as decimal. Just use 0 and 1. Shift and add that's how computers multiply. How it happens in CPU. The CPU uses a circuit called a multiplier which performs. 1. Shift moves bits left. 2. Add adds partial results. 3. Repeat for each bit. This is called the shift and add method simple and works well for positive numbers. Where it's used? Calculators Computer graphics, image scaling Games, calculating score, distance Engineering software Memory trick Multiply is equal to shift plus add When numbers are positive, no need to handle signs, so the process is faster and easier. Next important long question is 4. Signed Operand Multiplication In computer architecture, when we multiply numbers, sometimes they are positive and sometimes negative. These are called signed numbers. To multiply signed numbers, computers use a special method because negative numbers are stored using TOOS complement. What is TOOS complement? It's a way to store negative numbers in binary. For example, this is the 2's complement of plus 5. Rules of signed multiplication. So, just like in maths, signs matter. Example. Let's multiply 3 times 2. Step 1. Convert to binary using 4 bits. Plus 3 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1. 3 is equal to 11, 0, 1. 2's complement of 0, 0, 1, 1. Plus 2 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0. Step 2. Multiply using the Booth's algorithm used for signed numbers. Booth's algorithm helps multiply signed numbers easily by handling the sign bit and using shifting and adding. Result is equal to 6 in decimal. So, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. How CPU does it? CPU uses circuits like the multiplier along with logic to handle signs using TOOS complement. It uses methods like Booth's algorithm faster and handles negatives well. Modified Booth's for more speed. Where it's used. Scientific and engineering calculations. Financial apps profit loss is equal to plus or. Games and simulations. Easy trick to remember. Convert numbers to 2's complement. 
Use binary multiplication. Apply sign rules at the end. Signed multiplication is just like normal multiplication, only we need to handle negative numbers smartly. Next important long question is 5. Fast multiplication In computers, multiplication of large numbers can take time if done bit by bit. To make this faster, special methods and circuits are used. This is called fast multiplication. Why fast multiplication? When you multiply big numbers in normal way, like shift and add, it can be slow because the CPU repeats many steps. To speed up, computers use smart techniques that reduce the number of steps. Common fast multiplication techniques 1. Booth's algorithm It helps multiply signed numbers quickly. It reduces the number of add and subtract steps by looking at pairs of bits. Works well when there are many ones in the multiplier. 2. Array multipliers Use many small adders working in parallel at the same time. So the multiplication is done faster. 3. Wallace tree multiplier A very fast method using a tree of adders to add all partial products quickly. Reduces delay by adding many numbers simultaneously. Example Booth's algorithm, simple idea. Suppose you want to multiply 7 times 3. Instead of adding 7 3 times, Booth's algorithm checks bits in multiplier 3 and decides when to add or subtract 7. This saves time because fewer operations are needed. Why it matters? Fast multiplication makes computers. Run games smoothly. Perform scientific calculations quickly. Process images and videos fast. Easy tip to remember. Normal multiplication is equal to slow, step by step. Fast multiplication is equal to smart shortcuts plus many adders at once. Summary Fast multipliers save time by Reducing number of additions, Booth's algorithm Using parallel processing, array and Wallace tree multipliers So, fast multiplication is like having many helpers doing math at the same time or using smart tricks to finish work quickly.